Howdy y'all, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. New area, new title screen, we had to take a look at it. Ooh. Damn, this is literally like civilization on the march. It's so scary. It also reminds me of those medieval paintings where, like, you would see the corpse on the on the wheel that was way up in the air and shit like that. <clears throat> Fucking spooky. I appreciate the loading screen, though. That was nice. I'm sure we're going to see a few more. I think the goal today is to figure out this next quest. And then we're going to start exploring. There's a lot of uh, a lot of shit to go take a look at in uh, the new areas, and I kind of want to get from Blackwater down to like Thieves Landing and see if that's an actual town or if it's a fucking bandit nest, and then see if I can get to the McFarlane Ranch, and then maybe to Armadillo. We'll see. We'll see how far I can uh, I can reach. See how <laughs> let's see what kind of nonsense we get into because this is all new territory. Like uh, I've never explored anything out here. I felt guilty. I needed a, I needed a, I needed to wait and do a proper recording to come out here. I just wish I had Snapple red tea. Snapple, if you ever watch this, if you ever come out with your your teas again, you had this like white tea and raspberry pomegranate tea back in the day, and it was to die for. And uh, I would uh, I would do advertising for Snapple. For that, that tea, because it was so fucking delicious. Morgan and I would crush, like, literal 24 packs in, like, a two-day <laughs> span. There'd be a pile as high as our knees <laughs> off to the side. It was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I do miss that that soda. That one was really good. That and Sobe Adrenaline Rush. Sobe, I'll pimp you out, too. How do you do? Bring back that Sobe Adrenaline Rush. All right, we look good. I guess we're too poor to do anything else about it, so honor's a little good, bit, bit better. Oh, look Excuse at this. Me, sir. Can I can I help you? Hello there. Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? Mm -hmm. and which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can yeah. buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Damn. Thank Had you. to know someone. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently. They'll need clearing on. Sure. All right. Come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Nice. Oh, yep. Let's uh, pop it back out. 
Not fucking bad. Oh, shut up. Shut up. The Gavin guy's here? Hear that Laramie gang He's... got hold of most of West Elizabeth at this point. Oh, Laramie yeah. gang. That's a new one. Well, hello. Good morning, sir. I, I, I Over here, fella. Look, there he is. The Gavin dude. Somebody nice help morning, me. Isn't it? Gav? Don't see that every day. Gav? He looks like he's grown a beard and he's become more disheveled with his life. Friend. <laughs> Somebody help me, please. God, who would have thought we would have seen him again? Blackwater, Blackwater, step right up. Oh, we don't have any money. Let's uh, let's go handle this business. Let's go check out Beecher's Hope. Let's lay eyes upon John's future ranch. Wherever you're going, I can get you there cheap. Mm, not a dollar thirty-one cheap. I'm sorry, my dude. I am uh, forced to travel by my own means. Uh, we left this time. Let's let's go back. Let's go back to the main road over here. And let's uh, oh, let's go down this road. Let's go up towards the church while we leave. Got a lumber yard here. This place is like on the up and up. Because in Red Dead 1, like, all these buildings, these stone structures are completed, and I think there's rows of buildings, like, way out into the, uh, way out to, like, where this fence line is. All these houses are built, I do remember that. These are, like, the first founding houses. <laughs> the people with all the money came out here first and purchased all that up. Damn, the church. We gotta give this church a little exploration, because as we know... Maybe cigarette cards in there. Or little other Easter eggs. Look at this place. It's even more, like, dry and stuff. Oh, what's Slow this up here? Down. See this? Is that Blind Man Cassidy? Holy shit. It's Blind Man Cassidy. Oh my god, those arrows. Holy shit. Did you see those people that passed that had the arrows? Maybe charity will find you. Well, yeah, we'll give them my last dollar. Help a blind man. Looks like he's seen a few days. Okay. Here you are. The Skinner brothers. That must be who killed those people back there. You remember the past at the expense of the future. Uh, right. Okay, friend. All the best now. Weird. Don't waste any more time with an old blind man. Go All out right, there girl. and become who you are. That was an awkward exchange. Hi there, sir. Well, the wagon despawned, but hey, this hey. lady was all like arrowed up, right? I hate it when the game gives you multiple choice like that like multiple random events colliding at the same time that happens more often than you think at least we, well, I mean we've seen it in this playthrough multiple times really God, looking at like where strawberry is and shit over there seeing the Cheyenne Mountain and stuff like that from this angle it's crazy it's crazy All right, what do these signs say Blackwater, Strawberry, and Montezuma Post. Mon- Man- no, Manzanita Post. Jesus. Any glasses. I don't really need glasses, I have laser eyes. I got corrected years ago and it was the best decision I've ever made. Oh, what's this? Hello. Uh, may I have the Litchfield and the Bolt action, please? Holy- an arrow past me. Get that bolt action. Oh, you see that arrow that fucking flew the by? We're gonna make this another Skinner massacre. A Skinner massacre, huh? Oh. Oh. 
Okay. I can I can get behind the uh this gun. Hello? Are those two more scanners up there? Must have been. Well then. We'll take a little bit of money. <laughs> Trust me, we need money anywhere right now. Look at that. $4.50. Holy shit, these guys are gold mines, these Skinner brothers. Let's go find their hideout and, and topple it. You know, I think this is the edge of the property of, of Beecher's Hope. Three, four... Four dollars thirty-one cents. Oh my god! I think it's the Skinner brothers that are on the land too. Oh, this place looks like a dump, though. Look at that broken-down wagon, and all that trash over there. Oh boy, it's gonna take some work to get this back up and, and running. John, this is a tall glass of order for you to do alone. You're gonna need help. Oh my god! I blew his fucking melon wide open. Oh, never mind. He had a red bandana. Damn! Well, I've almost gotten back my earnings from Mr. Gettys. And I've only been on the road like a day. Two days. Damn, $21. I surpassed the earnings that I gotten from Mr. Gettys for the past, like, what was it? It said a few months elapsed and it had been like a month okay, while we had been there. So, like, at least three, four to five months. What a payday that was. That was nice. That was, that was needed. Alright, is this it? Let up. This looks like it's it. No name on the uh, entrance, though. This looks like it's it. You only get to be there for, for so long in uh, Red Dead 1. I always wanted more time here. I guess this is our time here. Oh, look at this little fucking shit shack. Look at this shit. Hmm. Let's get the uh, double barrel semi auto. Let's get the double barrel with slugs. Oh, I guess I just have shells. Oh yeah, look at that dude around the corner. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. Deer on the property. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen. Someone else on that, look at that. I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Confront the squatters. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner! Ooh, over the head. Oh, he's still alive? I wonder what gun it drew. Cattleman revolver, why? That's better. I also got the ding in honor. What, they wanted me, should I have given them the money? They're squatters. Dinging me on my honor, pathetic. My god, that lightning. At the end of the day, John don't know no better. An honest life is always a, a harder life for John. 
Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wonder how much the property was. Oh, I guess we'll find out because we've got to make payments on it. <laughs> He's like blown away by all the official shit. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and oh, we no. own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property, but. You can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking, they own me, but they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Yeesh. I mean, those are all truths. <laughs> oh shit, the rain. That ain't good. Well, I got an official piece of paper. Uncle? You. Well, I never. I, I Uncle! You was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> Oh, well, this huckster. into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. Oh, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. <laughs> oh, I'm real sick, John. Yep. Lumbago. Mm hmm. It's slow and. Painful death, my brother. Like a Evidently. ward on the ass. Have a little pity, will you? <laughs> huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> God, why'd the weather turn so suddenly? You follow me. I hope Uncle uh, says that something again. Because we cut him off right there when we got on the thing. West. West. Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't <laughs> care how I sing. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Yep. Oh my lord. <laughs> the Not that armpit. That's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's uh her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> You mean she left you? <laughs> oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Yeah! Easy! I love how Uncle can just read through the bullshit. Just fucking straight up knew he was speaking bullshit. I wonder if the corpses will still be here. Oh, I should have looted them before I left. Did he even give me an option? I can't even remember now. Oh. This 
This is it. Real hard Look land. At her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems yep. I'm stuck with you. Yep. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Look at him. He goes and lays down on the floor. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of moving rocks. I know that from my own yard. Boom. Epilogue one finished. Knew it. I knew when I did that fade away, it was going to be the end. But that's it. Be a Beecher's Hope? I was going to say Bracus Hope for a second. Beecher's Hope. Oh, respectable fence with nails. Oh, John. Okay, okay. I dig what you're wearing, John. I dig what you're wearing. I like the suspenders. No, no actual belt, too. You can't trust a man who wears a belt and suspenders. I mean, who, what? He, he's, his foundation of trust is already hurt. Damn, we got the fence in. There's, look at this. There's a there's a deer literally right there. Game in our fucking backyard. Wow, the fence goes all the way way up there. Yeah. So badass. Now we just need a better house. Cause that shack is uh, it's looking a little fugly if you ask me. We go straight into this uncle quest. What else is there to do on the map besides the uncle quest? We could push forward into the territory before doing this uncle quest. What is this uncle quest? What does it say? Uncle has some information for you. Bare knuckle friendships. Oh, okay. Should we? I mean, yeah. We just won't do too many of these up front. We'll do this one, and then we'll move on to uh, some exploration afterwards. Yeah. I had to think Working about it for hard. one more second. It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up. Or oh, get I had out. A color shift. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? <laughs> Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Rooming with the King James Bible. I'm getting up. Oh, no, I what, love what Uncle. I have to tell you. I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. What? Charles. Charles Smith is alive. I reckon. What? Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Really? I mean, we have to help Charles. Charles is a fucking sweetheart. We can afford train tickets? Also, why does it feel like this game's running at 2 FPS? Alright, that feels better. I think I was I had alt tapped out. Oh my god. This game's never quite ran ran well on this PC. Right, here we are. Come on, let's get off. Alright. It should run fine too at 4K. I'm only running at 1080. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Me Ditto. neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. That big sure. sour bastard. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slow. Nah, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? <laughs> the saloon or the fence? I think we'll go to the fence first. 
Damn, look at this place. It sucks. Civilization, indeed. Morning to you. Morning, ma'am. Good morning. Find newspapers. What you looking for? A paper? Oh hell yeah! I'll take a paper, please. Thanks. Beautiful. Have a great day. Good All morning. the latest on Sandy. Fine day for it, Miss. Bien bonjour, Monsieur. Uh, sorry, Officer. Good morning, Mister. Hey, partner. Bien, bonjour, monsieur. Let's run. <laughs> Wait, is my horse here? Holy shit, my horse is here. I'm just waiting here. There it is. What a horse. Down the middle, you lughead. We need to get another horse. I have a strategy in mind for what we can do to get some money early on. Abigail wouldn't be too, too proud, but most of it's pretty mundane shit. Uh, should we go to the fence first? Or should we go? Let's go to the, ta the tavern. Let's go to the innkeep. Sorry, saloon. Keep getting my terms wrong for these places of rest. I wonder if their menus changed over time. Look at that dog. Oh, this, this is the saloon that doesn't have food. Okay, okay. Thank god there's no wagon parked here. It's so annoying when there's a wagon parked here. Rachel, stay there. Boy, I think I always do that. I go try and enter the wrong door. Here we go. Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. Big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Where? Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Cool. Find Charles at St. Saturnine's. Damn, it's bright out here. Hello, ma'am. Morning, sir. Don't worry. We'll do some catch Let's and release go, and we'll get our honor way, way up. St. Saturnines. Oh, it's like literally right there. There's Uncle. Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, surprise. turns out. <laughs> they hate a massacre, and you are a killer. What the fuck? Oh. We both know what you Charles. Do. I'm leaving now. You telling him to throw the you fight? Don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Oh, uh, he fights. is. Sure. Then you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, 
I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse oh, me. Man. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? Uh, oh, yeah. A little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Yeah, I'm gonna bet on Charles. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and look a uncle, look so uncle. noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crime. Oh, hey, there we go. Child. Look at this Everything angle. else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Oh, here we go. You know what to do, senor. What's up? Hit him, Charles. What is this? Come on, pretend he's Micah. What yeah. is this? Oh. You can't stay on your feet, you hear? No, Lone Wolf. Kill that bastard. Don't black out just yet. What's he doing? Oh, beating the shit out of You see all that blood? Oh. Knock him out. Oh. Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Yeah. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your Here's mine. partner. Thank you. We just made the bed. I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now. My sense is you just need to lie low. Where? <laughs> yep. We got a little place up past Black Uncle Water. made some money too, you see that? Okay. I gotta grab the baggage. <laughs> I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. Urns. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Forty dollars. Doubled my money. That's not bad. My bags on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur? Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Oh, I what a sweetheart. If any of us had been found, we'd have. Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. Like Pretty this brisk pace. Facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Oh, Getting sick careful, like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. How you doing? That makes sense. Just fine. Excuse anyway, you. I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. No me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. Yep, dead You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. Jesus. He died in custody. Really? Said a word. Whoa, what a badass. Yeah, some folk is strong in ways you can't see. 
Everything that happened. Is all those friends? deaths. Micah? Strauss was pretty uh, was that. a fucking worm. Dutch? Least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for we were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Okay. Oh, uh, look at this. Looks like Pinkerton's. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Oh. Oh, I've been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> oh, here we go. You couldn't have thrown that fight! It's never just one fight! Evidently! There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Oh god. On, what is he doing? John, what are you doing? Alright. Why does it giving me a fucking cattle? Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Good, dumb cop. Hold on. I want to kill any cops. Any Not yet. Keep your eye out. Santa Nia ain't short on police. I remember that. Oh, let's see Only them running over there. Well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have of denying it at least. Let me holster. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take Damn. us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> Negative. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Amen. Oh, Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. <laughs> Speaking of simple. Where you get a hat horse? Yeah. You boys been oh, all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> yeah, we got a free wagon. Quite the travel. Sand the knee all the way to uh, Beecher's Hope. They'll probably do like a stay in Valentine and then make the rest of the trip. Yeah, got the wagon, baby. Damn, it's become a regular camp out here. Look at this. Not bad. Nice little camp out here. There's the fast map, travel map. All right, let's go over here. Let's go to the weapon locker again. And let's get rid of that uh, cattleman's revolver that keeps popping onto our, our thing. No, there's not even a Cattleman's on here. The game just keeps giving me the worst gun possible. Are you kidding me? Locker, horse. Yeah, see, there's not. It's not even on the list. How dumb. Like I would, t I would take a volcano, or volcanic over that. God damn. Mmm. What do I want to do? The rancher. Yeah, let's do the rancher. Feel good with the rancher on. You know, I may just stick with this color scheme. That vest looks good. It, look, it looks pretty, pretty freaking good. This is a good outfit. 
So now we have a couple different quests we can do. We can go talk to Uncle again. He needs to speak with you. Home improvements for beginners. My god, look at the house. It looks demolished. And then what's this? Sadie's in town? Sadie. She said she would meet you in Blackwater. An honest day's labor. I don't know if I want to do either of these quests yet. I think I want to do a quick preliminary search out west. I want to keep pushing. Like, I want to check out the Manzanita Post. And then follow uh, all the way down here. I know, like, there's supposed to be a little town. At least in Red Dead Redemption 1 it was a town. It was, like, a really seedy river town. And then, like, the McFarlane Ranch is over here. And then, like, Armadillo is over here. And I want to go all the way out to Tumbleweed, which is somewhere way out here. So... We, we have some way, some things to do. Um, I don't want to repro approach them. I think I want to stay at the camp over here. Also, we'll do it all next episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Look at the Algeron pistol on my, uh, on the, on the cross draw right there. That looks so sick. God. John Day, John looks pretty good. John looks pretty good like this. I think I'm going to tweak the costume that we made the other day, uh, off screen. And I'll meet you guys next episode. Um, until then, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah. Adios.